Wow, I have no words to describe what we're living anymore. Everything is being turned on its head. The food we eat is not safe. It doesn't sustain our health. It's poisonous, making us sick. The air we breathe is toxic. The water we drink, even when we're buying the water, it still contains a lot of toxic substances. And the truth is, only those who are still comfortable and those who have money that can afford really good filtering systems for the water, well, they may be drinking water that is good for them. But this is it in South Carolina. I turn on the tap water. And there are days I've got to back away because of the stench of chlorine. You can't cook with it. You can't drink with it. You need to get a really good filtering system for your shower. Otherwise, you are bathing in chlorine. And what happens? Your hair becomes very dry. Your skin becomes very dry. This has been going on for so long. And Americans, man, do you need to get outraged? What's happening in Simpson County? Listen, listen to this. It, unbelievable, unbelievable. It is unbelievable what you are about to hear. Well, in Simpson County, the water coming out of faucets is black. Residents in Mendenhall say there has been no boil water notice, and they have even been told the water is safe to drink. Okay. Do you hear? Something's wrong with that? Oh, great. Something is wrong with this area because I, I cannot believe. Between the cars with the mufflers and this maintenance guy who uses the lawnmower as a... It, it, just a cart around things. He's he's not even mowing the lawn, but the lawn mower is constant. I, I I have to post a video on what's taking place here. Um, so I apologize for the noise, but this is a continuous problem that I have, and I can't I can't keep stopping videos. I you know there are so many Americans who are really stressed out. There are so many Americans who are facing living the consequences of what is taking place and so many Americans who are now living a reality that they cannot change because it has been deliberately engineered upon them and because we have so many Americans who just will not ever grow up, become responsible and take care of business we have Americans. My God, what the hell has happened here? Has it always been like this? Has it always been like this? Americans who just put up with so much abuse, neglect, and they pay for it. And they continue to pay for it. Yesterday, I read a headline in one of our um, local newspapers, the Independent Mail. Anderson County, again, is about to raise property taxes. About to raise property taxes because you know what? They need the money because they just can't afford to provide the services. And you know how many will sit in their homes. They won't go to voice their objection to yet another tax increase. And you know how many Americans will believe that Anderson County needs another tax increase? This is happening across the country. And Americans, hey, they love, they love to be the victim of theft, abuse. They love to be living this nightmare. They must because they never ever do anything about it. Bring it on. Bring me more 
toxic chemicals. Bring me more products that are going to kill me. Yay! I love it. And even those, there are so many who know that a lot of this is deliberate, they still can't seem to get upset. Unbelievable. Outrage? Oh my God, if I voice outrage, people are going to think that I'm angry. And then they're going to disapprove of me. And they're not going to love me. So I'm just going to sit back and take it and smile. And think positively. I'll think positively. And then everything's going to go away. And I'll be happy. We are an unbelievably mentally ill people. Now, I'm speaking in the collective, so if you're taking any of this personally, please look in the mirror. Ask yourself, why do I take this personally? She's not talking about me, per se. She's talking about the collective, the majority. And you know what? The majority manifest reality. The majority manifest the reality of the society in which they live. And are you sick of living this reality? I am. And I am so sick of Americans who laugh at people when they talk about what's happening or insult them by calling them names. So sick of Americans who, oh, you're just, you're so upset. And you're crazy because you're upset. And look at me. I'm not upset. And therefore, I'm a better human being. Sorry to get carried away. But right before I started this video, I had to wait. <clears throat> because the maintenance guy drives around with this lawnmower that is incredibly loud. And he pulls a cart behind him that squeaks all every time. Uh, it just squeaks. I don't know what the problem is, but I've never lived in a place like this. I've never lived in a place like this. And, you know, every other apartment complex, if it's a big apartment complex, what do they have? They have these golf carts that are silent. But no, here, because th th this place is so incredibly cheap. They got rid of the lawn mowing company so that they didn't have to pay. They, they have a maintenance guy, one guy who cuts the lawn and weed wax and uses everything that makes noise to prune the bushes, to blow, you know, the debris from the driveways. And it goes on. I'm not kidding. Three, four days. And then if he's not lawn mowing, he's using that lawn mower to drive around. The only peaceful day here is Sunday. That's it. That's it. This how we live. It is getting to be so unbelievably insane. We're masochists. We love to be tortured, abused neglect. I guess we love the pain of it. I don't know. I sure as hell don't. Listen to this. this listen to this. <laughs> Three your science, Amber Gerard spoke with those residents who say they are fed up. Fed up? My question is, who would like to sit down at the table and have a drink like this with fresh water? When Ronnie Goodman woke up this morning and turned on the faucet, he didn't expect to see this. It's safe. It's actually in the water system. And you can look in the back of the toilet, and as we flush it, you see the water stain, which doesn't mean it's been that way for a while. When his wife called the Poplar Springs Water District, they were told that it was okay to drink the water. I had to hear it for myself, so I called as well. I, too, was told that there was no problem with the water. It was just a little too much iron. It's not just like iron, you know, it's, it's just hard. Goodman took me through the house, and he was right. Black water everywhere, in the sinks, the bathtubs, the washing machine. It's just not right for people to come home and look at this and start washing clothes or have a load of clothes. It was white tiles. Now they're not white. Who's going to pay for all this cleanup? 
but it didn't end there. Down the street, this family had a stream of black water running down their driveway. They, like others, were running the water until it was clear again. Goodman says he and his wife have used everything, including bleach, of course, and the stain from the discolored water simply won't go away. <laughs> but it's safe to drink. Don't worry, Americans. Your government is there to keep you safe, to provide you services, to protect you. Don't you worry. Children, mommy and daddy government will always protect you. You want to live that delusion? You're going to die by that delusion. <laughs>